Okay, so here's some core rules to the game. Uh, ones always fails under the D20. 20s always pass naturally. Um, when you attack, you can roll a D20 and try to get a 20 with your STL. Add your STL to it. If you do, you get to hide yourself as you're attacking so you don't have to reveal yourself. Support happens when you have your friend nearby. You get a plus 3 to the roll and plus D6. And then you multiply that by how many people you have. So it'd be a plus six or plus six plus nine because he has three friends nearby um, if you're on the same spot you basically get to shove the guy okay you get to shove him so that's a uh, d6 damage and if you shove him into another opponent or monster the monster or opponent shoves them again you just keep shoving until they're in an open space every time they get shoved they take damage into terrain whatever okay um every time you take an objective back to the tower you have the option of leveling up your character meaning they get to level up either damage their senses whatever objectives so once you take it and you move to the tower immediately when you touch the tower sorry immediately when you land on the tower space then you get the score the point and level up okay but you don't have to take the objective right away when you walk up to it that way it gives a little more mystery um you can keep track of all your tower hp once your tower is destroyed it's gone unless you have a specific way to bring it back with ability or something like that um, you can reposition your tower as well too, but you need the proper ability or cards to do it. Um, this will keep track of your round, the turn, how many objectives you've had, you have, so that you can go, okay, well I took more than half, the countdown begun, begins, and your score. And then like I said, you can have a little white piece of paper to write all in your HP, all that stuff too. Um, you can fall off buildings and stuff like that. Every time you fall off, it takes D6 damage per level. It increases and ramps up as you get higher you fall down. If you are in combat and you fall back, this is called disengaging. Disengage. That means that you can't do anything because you fell back from close combat. If you're shooting or casting spells from a range, that doesn't matter. Um... But when you fall back, you're done. Um, um, so, back to the senses. You know, you have sight, hear, taste, smell, touch, the five senses. The other two special ones are intuition, which means that you get just to pick a point. If you get it correctly, you get a bonus to your character, like healing your character, etc. Um... And then also you have uh, fear, where basically as long as you're within three spaces of the enemy, you get to perform a fear. You roll a d20, add your fear modifier to it. If you get a 20, then your opponent is scared and they cannot search until um, the next uh, round. Let's see. 